So let's try another type of report, uh, just a different flavor, right? So just remember, you got to experiment with the different features of reports. Take the time to make them look the way you want. And always ask yourself, what is it that the end user wants from you? So let's go back uh, to the reports area and click on report wizard. So we'll do a report wizard this time based on, let's say, um, a query that we did that only showed us uh, that only showed us high value sales, right? So click on that, and this time I want all of the fields over, so I'm just going to fast forward them right here. Click next, and let's do a grouping by product this time, okay? So it's going to give me all the products, and then let's do by customers. So all the products, then all the customers, uh, and leave it at that. So click next. I do want to sort the records by, let's say, quantity, and we'll do it by descending, which will be the high amounts at the top, the low amounts as we go down. So there's a button here called Summary Options. If you click on it, what it will do somewhere directly on your report is either do a sum, an average, show you the high or the low amount. And I want to do, let's say, a sum for quantity uh, and also show the percentage as well uh, for the sums. And, and again, you'll see what it will look like once you try it. Okay, You just have to experiment with these different features. So click OK, click Next and this time let's try a report that is an outline let's see what that looks like okay next and give it a good name and we'll call this high value report click finish and again notice your report names show up here you're allowed to have as many of them as you like just like forms and queries and tables uh, and that's what it looks like so it's not the best there's a bunch of wasted space here but what you notice is that the main headings will be up here and then the data kind of follows accordingly. So this is my Bringa, Customers Walmart, and then it's going to go down to the next product and the next product and so on. So we can just keep scrolling through. And you notice down at the bottom, it's giving you that summary that you were looking for, the total of uh, the quantity and then the percentage that Walmart is responsible for, right? If you go down to the next customer, uh, South Mart, it'll say that many units, and then that was the percentage and so on. So the report might not look perfect, but you can always go to Design View to make changes, and I'll show you right now. So I'm going to close Print Preview, and you're in Design View. So let's take a look. First of all, you can always move these fields over, and you notice they're taking up way too much space. It's always a good idea to just kind of squeeze them. Right? This is the part that takes the most amount of time. So I'll just move this over as well. That's the customer header. And always test it out as you make changes. So you know exactly what's happening so I'm gonna put these all of these down here okay and that's gonna save me quite a bit of space maybe that's a bit too big okay so let's save it and let's have a look see everything is squeezed over just a bit we'll work on this column as well but I'm looking at all the information I need I've got the quantity I've got the order date and the revenue but you notice these headings don't line up with the data at all so go back to design view and I'll show you in this type of report, when you move something up here, the label, you have to move the bound box or this box here along with it. So let's move that under quantity. See how it matches up? That's exactly what we need. And we could move this NAFTA button here. And by the way, if you right click on this checkbox, you can go to change to and change it to one of these options like we did on the form. Nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, let's put order date over here. And again, make the boxes reasonable. And let's move that over there. Okay, so perfect. Okay, and by the way, you can also right click and change your properties here as well. So these things I think will be fine. Let's just move these over a bit. Right? Um, put that over there just so we save some space over here. Okay, and we'll do the same with this. We'll just move it over and move this over there. Okay, again, I don't know what the heck it's going to do until we try it. There we go. Perfect. Now, save it let's try it and take a look that looks a lot better a lot more presentable and of course we can change the heading at the top as well to reflect the identity of our company now notice a few adjustments we have to make in terms of uh, something that's broken up here right so let's go back let's take the time to fix it up order date right there align it that's perfect now let me show you one other thing I'll move this over you can actually right click on let's say quantity click on that box not the title okay you want this bound box right click and if you remember we did conditional formatting at one point let's have a look I want to put a new rule 
that says if the quantity is greater than, um, let's say 500, then change the color. And we'll change the color here to orange. And hopefully that'll work. So let's apply, click OK. And the other thing is if you wanted to change the color of any of these boxes, you can always click on them, go up to the Format tab, and change any of the properties here. So for example, if I wanted that box to be purple, I can certainly do that. There's, there's nothing wrong with it, right? And you can right click in any section here if you'd like, change the background color to something different. Uh, let's save it. In the Home tab, let's go to View. And there we go. So right now, the conditional formatting is working. It's highlighting all the fields that are greater than 500, but obviously it's not the right conditional format. If I go back to Design View, right-click on Quantity, Conditional Formatting, let's reset the rule. So double-click on this one. And this time, let's say greater than 1,000. Okay, that would make more sense. Click OK, Apply, OK, Save it, and go back. There we go, perfect. All right, everything is good to go. That's a pretty good report. Now I'll just do one more quick variation for you, okay? So let's go to Report Wizard. Uh, Let's paste this one on Order Master, and let's just randomly put some fields over. Uh, unit cost, quantity, revenue, and I think that should be good. Let's click Next. Uh, we won't add any grouping this time. Let's click Next. We won't sort it. Next. And let's try Justify. Okay, different look. Click Next, and call this um, All Records. Finish and you'll see what this one looks like. So you might or might not like it, and again, you can certainly go to uh, the design view and modify this report as you like. But you know, a lot of people just want a report that looks like this. There's nothing wrong with that, right? So let's close this. Actually, I'm not even gonna save it. I'm gonna go to this report, all records, right click and delete it. I don't really want it. And you can also change the name of it as well. 